next people we're going to meet are really famous, but if you saw them, you probably wouldn't know who they were. That is, until they open their mouths to talk. Tash went along to a voice acting workshop to meet some of the voices behind some well-known animated characters. <laughs> You might recognise this show, but what about the voices behind the characters? <laughs> this is Luke Jurevicius. He's the voice behind Figaro Foe. I didn't go to any voice acting school or anything like that. I was just a clown as a kid. Voice actors provide the voices and sounds for animated characters in cartoons, movies, TV or even video games. This is where all the magic happens. Exactly. This is where all the magic does happen. <laughs> cool. Well, can you show me how to voice an animation? I would love to. Come on. You just do your voice and then you, you've got to look at the picture, you've got to watch what's happening on screen and you have to sort of um, recreate what you think that chicken is saying and then you need to edit it all together like what I've done and uh, sync it up to the picture, slide these around so it, so it matches your picture. And there you've got a, a voice for a character. Can I have a go? Can you have a go? Yes, of course. Right. Let's go. Come on. So what we're going to be is we're going to be a chicken right. because, see, Figaro pretends that he's a chicken. Do a chicken with me. All right. So Do I have to be the chicken? Yeah, be, okay. be the chicken. Be the chicken. Be the chicken. All right. So, <laughs> Man, you are such Sorry. a good chicken. OK, Tash, we're about to record some uh, chicken vocals. I want a good, strong take, please. Be the chicken. All right. And recording. After Go. a bit of warming up, I was ready to record my voice. That was excellent. From here, my voice can be added to the animation. That looks about right there. Let's see how it sounds. I'm a warrior, not a variety of flower. Uh, These guys are getting a lesson in voice acting from a couple of famous voices. Chris Sabat is known for his work on Dragon Ball Z. The winds of change are blowing, Zarbon. Soon the power of immortality will be mine. And with it, I will rule this galaxy forever. There's a little bit of difference. He's and Paul Eiding plays Grandpa Max in Ben 10. Whoa, shag carpet. Oh, these guys are classic. They say there are a couple of important skills you need to be a voice actor. The cool thing about being a voice actor, I think that's what makes some voice actors um, hireable, is the ability to just jump into it without fear to go, all right, here we go, I'm going to do it. I'll tell you one thing that's really important is to be able to read, read really well and to be able to scan quickly because you don't, a lot of times you don't have a lot of time beforehand and they'll give you a script. Sometimes you get to read it before you, uh, you start recording, sometimes you don't. Voice acting seems really cool. I, I really like the voices that the guys did. I learned how to warm up for like just talking. I learned quite a bit about like about how you flex some of the muscles to create different voices. Next time you're watching a movie or playing a video game, remember there are people working behind the scenes bringing characters to life. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.